Dylan Black. There's a lot of Mums Day activities happening at Ottawa's community museums, and we have all the details for you right now. Crafts and so much more. Let's say hello to Jennifer Maybank, Audience and Development Officer, Museums and Heritage Programs as well, uh, City of Ottawa. You do all kinds of stuff. You're busy. We're busy, yes. Yeah, busy time of year. <laughs> and uh, Mary Ange, uh, Angel Lombano with us as well, uh, Project Officer and Cree Activity, Cree Activity Club yes. uh, animator at uh, Museo Pauk Vanier. Nice to have you here as well. Thank you. We're going to get into those amazing crafts that you have, but we'll get into that in seconds. Jennifer, why is this such a busy time of year for you? Sure. Well, we have five City of Ottawa operated museums and four of our five museums open for the city or for the season on Mother's Day. Okay. So it's a busy day for us and an exciting day. So they've been closed because I was always under the impression that museums are open year round. Well, our Nepean Museum is open year round, um, but many of our museums just due to the winter conditions, they're not ideal to visit in the winter mm -hmm. so we do shut for the winter season and we open again for the summer and the fall okay so obviously I mean mom's day is a very busy time of uh, year it's a busy day because we need to get mom out and enjoying stuff of course where would you like to start with uh, which museum and, and what they're offering well we can start on the east end uh, with the Cumberland Heritage Village Museum um, it is their opening day and we're actually celebrating families that day so we're looking at what family life was like in the 1920s and 30s mm -hmm. so it's a great way to kind of bring the family out and enjoy a day um, they can explore the museum. We have our heritage animals on site, wagon rides, and we also have crafts and activities kind of building on the family mm. theme. What does a heritage animal mean? Sure, so we have actually a heritage breed farm animals. Um, yeah. So they are appropriate to the time era, so it kind of gives you an idea of what life as a farmer or living in rural Ottawa would have been like in the 1920s and 30s, mm -hmm. including the kind of animals you would have seen in your yard. Okay, interesting. So that's one museum. Yes. A so few more to go here. We also have um, at Billings Estate, it's their opening day as well, so Billings Estate National historic site. Um, we have our Mother's Day Tea, which is always one of our most popular events of the year. It's actually sold out for oh, this wow. year, Good. which is fantastic. So we're expecting a great day for moms. Um, but people are also welcome to come visit the museum and explore the site uh, as regular visitors as well. Okay. Um, at Fairfield's Heritage House, we have we're actually launching a brand new series mm -hmm. called Makers at the Museum. So throughout the summer, we're going to be running programs for people who like DIY, who like crafts, um, can come and kind of learn a new skill from a local artisan. Mm -hmm. And on Mother's Day, we're doing bath bombs oh, uh, nice. with Zoe's Corner, so that's going to be a great one. Yeah. Um, and Penny's Point uh, Historic Site opens for the season as well. Wow. So come kind of see what we have on offer for the summer and enjoy the beautiful grounds down by the Ottawa mm -hmm. River there at Penny's Point. You could, if you mapped it out, you could check out all of them. You once. could plan a full day of activities. <laughs> yeah, not all at once, all throughout the same day is what I'm trying yes. to tell you. Okay. Uh, Marie Angel, so you are part of uh, Vanier Museo Park. And yes. So where exactly is that located? Um, it's located at the Richelieu Vanier Community Center. Mm -hmm. uh, the bus route 19 can drop you right in front of the community center. Okay. Uh, so what exactly happens uh, for Mom's Day uh, uh, where you are? Uh, for Mother's Day, we do have planned uh, a small bird feeder for mom, so they can perch it up on their, on their window and their balcony and the, they can wa bird watch. Oh, they can bird watch? Yeah. That sounds pretty nice. It's a very peaceful activity and yeah. it's very suiting for mothers. Are there lots of spots for moms to check this out? Well, you could put it, definitely you could put it on your balcony, if you're, it, but if you're closer to the woods, it would, it's going to get you way more birds closer to your place. Okay. But um, it pretty much attracts birds. Yeah. It's all in the in the bird food that you put in there. Okay, but there's plenty of room for moms to attend this event. Oh yeah, perfect, yes. perfect. Okay. Uh, we encourage parents to come with their kids so they can work together on their crafts. Okay. Oh, crafts! You just said it. Maybe we should have a look <laughs> because there's other crafts as well. So it's also a craft day that you're going to be enjoying. Yeah, and the workshops they last two hours usually. We mm -hmm. start at ten. And it's usually three dollars per child, so we we do work with a lot of recycled materials. That's how we manage to keep a very low cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's some of the amazing crafts. So these would have been made. And now, are these made by some of your team members? And you're just saying kids did this? And um, no, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I made mean, those. Those are samples that I showed yeah. to the kids, Fair so enough. they have an idea of what they're gonna make. Okay, that that's a lot of fun. Okay, so, so do people have to book, like book times to come see you, or usually uh, the clubs they take place once a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a limit of 30 children mm -hmm. per, uh, per session, so we do encourage people to register early. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. Jennifer, can you give us a, a quick overview of, of the coming season? I know you were talking about some of the programs that are happening in the, the nice warm weather months ahead. <laughs> what else is coming up? Sure, well, I think the, the other big thing of note um, for Mother's Day is it's also the opening day for our newest exhibit, uh, which is called City in Motion. Mm -hmm. And that's actually going to be um, 
an exhibit that's going to be at four of our museums so people can again actually travel the course of the city um, and fully enjoy and that's on the theme of the history of transportation in Ottawa mm -hmm. so that's an exciting new thing for us this summer and we are going to be building programs off that theme as well at many of our museums okay um, also coming up of course you know Mother's Day is around right around the corner but you've got Father's Day following that as well yeah. and many of our museums host really great programs um, for families and for dads to enjoy as well um, we've got uh, at Cumberland Museum a great program called pop culture yeah. um, building off the idea of mass communication but playing off the idea of dads as well um, Fairfield's Heritage House is having a great community barbecue on Father's Day mm -hmm. and we've got a classic car show at Billings Estate um, as well as uh, for those who are familiar with the old com uh, computer game Oregon Trail we're actually building an Ottawa Trail out wow. at Penny's Point. So if you want to challenge your settler survival skills, yeah. um, that'll be a great Father's Day activity busy, as well. It's going to be busy this year. About 45 seconds left, Jennifer. Can you quickly tell us what uh, the Ottawa Museum Network is all about? Sure. So the Ottawa Museums Network is your resource for finding out what's going on at 11 community museums across Ottawa, all the way from Cumberland to Carp. Um, so it's a one-stop shop to kind of learn about your local museums and local Ottawa history and kind of plan your visits for the summer. All right. Plan your visits for Mom's Day, whether yes. it's one of your amazing city of Ottawa museums or where Mary Angel and her team is at the Museo Parc Vanier. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you Thank so you. much. And a happy Mom's Day in advance. Ottawa Museum Network uh, .ca is the place to go to for all this fun. Thank you. We've got more daytime coming up in moments. Please don't go anywhere. This